prescription at Walgreens. Dropped off my prescription for muscle relaxers and now I've got to call my mom and see if she's home so I can go and pick the boys up. Cause there's no point in them staying over there all day long if, um, if I'm not working today since I've been sick. I'll tell you all about what happened soon. Mom, it's me, are you there? You're home? Okay, I'm coming to get the boys. Alright, I'll tell hmm? Yeah, I'll tell you about it when I get there. Bye. Here we go. Let's go get my kids. I'm parked over here next to my mom's house. I just wanted to tell you really quick before I go get the kids what happened last night. Um, it was really weird. I went to bed at 9.30. And at 10.30, 11.30, and 12.30, I woke up with both of my legs locking up and spasming and turning into like really big cramps, like really badly. Um, it was really scary, actually. That used to happen to me when I was pregnant with the kids. I would wake up with really bad leg cramps, and my mother-in-law would like run in the room and try to help rub the cramps out of my legs. Um, but it literally has not happened to me since I was pregnant with um, Garyan. But this time it was both legs and Luis was, uh, he jumped up and started helping me try to rub the cramps out of my legs. And then, you know, we automatically assumed it's like I'm either dehydrated or I need potassium or magnesium. So I ate a banana and then I had some magnesium spray in my uh, bathroom pantry that had been sitting there literally for years. So I don't even know if it's any good anymore, if it even would work, but... I sprayed that all over my legs hoping that that would help and um, that didn't help so after it happened the third time Luis was like we need to go to the ER um, like basically you're obviously not gonna sleep there's something wrong we need to go to the ER so I was like I really hate going to the doctors I was like okay I was starting to get scared you know because it happened three times and it hurt really bad so I was like okay fine we'll go so as you saw in the ER, um, they gave me something called called Ativan, and it totally like knocked me out. I uh, it was supposed to be for anxiety and to stop my because I also because um you know I told them that I've been having a Crohn's disease flare and I've only been eating like one meal a day for like the past week week and a half and I think that might be why uh, my body's reacting this way. And so they said that Ativan would help calm my uh, Crohn's disease spasms in my stomach and it should also relax me enough to where I, I shouldn't have any more leg spasms but it totally knocked me out so I basically just laid in the bed and slept while they gave me um, an IV for electrolytes they, they refilled me with electrolytes and then they gave me a prescription for a muscle relaxer and then they just sent us home so um, yeah so I just dropped off my prescription for the muscle relaxer I'm gonna get the kids and then I'm gonna go back and pick up the muscle relaxer and I'm also going to look and see if they have like coconut waters or Gatorade or something with electrolytes in it that I can buy just to um, take some home with me to make sure I, I have some for tonight because I'm still kind of worried if it, it's going to happen again or not. Um, so yeah, but I'm okay. Everything's fine. I just, it just freaked me out that that was happening and it was painful and uh but I'm kind of glad we went to the ER because at least now if it starts happening again, I have a muscle relaxer to try to stop in its tracks. So I really am trying really hard to get my Crohn's under control, but it's been so bad lately. I just don't even know what to do. I, I made a doctor's appointment. I haven't gone to the doctor in like a year. I made a doctor's appointment with my gastroenterologist for the December 21st. And I'm most likely going to probably go back on Crohn's disease meds because this flare-up has just been going on for so long. It's been like six months and it's just been getting worse. Like since Thanksgiving, it's been so much worse. And I don't want to go back on medications, but I feel like it's something I just, I'm going to have to do for a while to, until I get this really under control and I get my diet under control. Um, and I feel again like I can handle it and control it on my own because right now it's just not working I've been eating all whole foods, I've been eating vegetable soups that I've made myself, I've been eating steamed potatoes, I've been eating bananas, like I've literally been eating nothing bad and I, no matter what I eat I'm sick, I cannot get it under control and I've been losing so much weight and I mean yeah I want to lose weight but I don't want to lose it unhealthfully and I've been losing an average of a pound or two every two to three days 
and it's not good. I mean, I'm glad I've lost over 30 pounds, but I really don't want to be a skeleton and be like 95 pounds in the next like month or two without it being for a healthy reason. You know what I mean? I'd rather be weight weightlifting and eating healthy and that's why I'm losing weight. So I really need to get this under control. And I wasn't sure that I was going to share with you guys if I decided to go back on meds or not, but that's real life. That's my life. And this is a serious disease that can kill people if they don't take care of themselves. And it has killed people that, that my family has. Like my brother knew a girl who passed away from Crohn's disease because she refused to go to the doctor and didn't take care of herself. And I don't want that to be me. So, you know, it's an awful thing to put your family through. And I need to be there for them. I need to be here for them. So I'm going to have to do what I have to do. And my husband wants me to go back on meds. It's going to make him feel better and make him feel more, um, I don't know, sane. I'm thinking that I'm going to actually make it and not like kill myself off by being stubborn. So yeah, anyway, that's what happened. I'll stop rambling now. I'm going to go inside and get my kids and then probably talk to my own mom for a little while, tell her what happened. And then we're gonna go back to Walgreens and get my prescription and then I'm gonna probably get some Gatorade or some coconut water or something. So yeah, anyway, that's it. That's what happened. I uh, hope I didn't scare any of you guys um, at the beginning. Uh, this is just life with Crohn's disease, so welcome to my life. <laughs> if you guys wanna share anything down below, any struggles that you're going through, it's always nice to have um, some common ground to talk about and to share with each other. So leave that in the comments, all right? And as always, we'll support and send love to each other. So thanks for watching my little broccoli bites. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.